I'm excited to show you these pictures of Beast washing a vintage travel trailer. In these slides, you're going to see that we did this without a pressure washer. It's nice to be able to have a product that will wash without a pressure washer so you don't have to worry about damaging your coach. Just look at how dirty this trailer was before we started washing it with Beast Wash. This is a trailer that has been sitting around the Southwester RV Resort. The mold and slime was so bad that a pressure washer wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't want you to pressure wash a trailer like this to begin with. So we're going to show you the steps that we took with Beast Wash to clean this up. First we wetted down the trailer. We got it nice, good, and wet, which did nothing except it moistened up all the goo that was on the trailer. Then we applied a liberal amount of beast wash. Just look at how it's melting that mold right off the trailer. You can see it dripping down. Now you're going to want to be careful on something like the silver streak that has anodized aluminum not to let the, the soap drip down in the direct sunlight. You could damage the anodized metal. However, on a cloudy day and as long as the trailer is moist, it will do no harm at all. Move the product around and just let it do its work. You don't even have to scrub. Rinse it down. Wash the whole trailer with this, and you're going to have a new looking trailer when done. Remember to wash from front to rear so that you don't fill up any of your vents. If you can reach the roof, wash the roof first from top to bottom. Let the product sit and then rinse off. If you've bought a new vintage trailer, a trailer that's new to you, wash it before you buy the darn thing. Your first step should always be to wash the trailer when you're detailing a trailer or an RV of any kind. Now look how clean and shiny this trailer ended up. It's fun, fast, easy, and safe to do. Yeah.